So what did I what did I walk out and catch you doing? And why are you doing that? So I can build frames for our watering barrels. So watering barrels. What watering barrels are you talking about? We have two blue barrels, for the, one for the goats and one for the pigs, and then one for the chickens. Okay, you can see one right there. So that one just needs a platform, but I haven't decided yet where I'm going to put it. Okay. The other two, I'm going to build a box and cover it with the... Pallet boards to match mm -hmm. the garden beds. Cool. And then the, the barrel will just slide down into it. Awesome. It, they'll hang on the fence, on one on either end. That sounds awesome. Well, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Having fun? No, I'm a little irritated actually. Why is that? Because I can't get the nails out of these stupid boards. Hold on, let me see if I can help you. The seed is getting busy over here. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. With my board, and then I can put the slats on it. Cool. And then we can hang it on the fence. Hang it on the fence? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I gotta put a bottom in it too. Uh oh, what's up? It kind of worked on me a little bit. Is that gonna be okay? I don't know, we'll see. Maybe the first time I screwed something up. Probably won't be the last. Can you help holding it? Is that what you want? Just a little further. Right there. Get this if you want to pull that out. I mean, 
because I'm not strong enough to hold it out and screw it. So we will have to pause for this moment or, or can grab that thing real quick. Got a battery? Oh. No. These are not where I was trying to. Looking good. Just a minute, Daisy. I'm coming. Said it's dinner time. Said what? She said it's dinner time. <laughs> what are you there. How cool is that? I'm not going to put them close together so that if water gets in there, it'll just kind of drain. Cool. Yeah, I think four looks good. Hmm? That looks really good. Yeah, I like that. Same thing right here. Are they gonna fit? Three of them should fit. That's awesome. And look at that. That is too cute. You're awesome, Mama Cita. Bad for not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> well, we can honestly say we're, when we say that we're talking about how much have we done so far? <laughs> not knowing what we're doing. There's a lot more of my not knowing what I'm doing out there than there is yours, so I wouldn't feel bad about it. I hear you. That was a rose. Angry. Hangry goats. One more. Right there, I'll show you. Okay. Look at there. It fits. 
like I meant for it to happen. Yeah. So explain to us how this is going to work. So there's a spigot that's in here, and we'll attach it out here. Mm -hmm. And then run a hose to the water, the uh, stainless steel water for the pigs. So it's called a stainless steel hog water. The goat stepped on the lid, so we'll have to replace the lid. Cool. Look at storage, that. So. Yeah, we got these a year or so ago. Yeah. So this is going to be kind of cool. Anyway, so it hangs on the fence. Like down low where they can get to it. This is what attaches to the side of the barrel. Okay. And, um... Then you connect a hose from here to here. Cool. I'm gonna have all those parts somewhere to locate them. Well, that's gonna be neat. Neato, neato. Make it easy to have them on the outside of the fence to take water, make sure they have water. Yeah. Because their current watering system they use to swim in. <laughs> yeah. So we have to change it a couple of times a day. Yeah, that's not good. All right, let me see. Stick it back in there. Well, there you go. Awesome, awesome. You did a good job. Another fist bump. This is the side that the goats will see, and we'll see the other side. This is the side we'll see from the backyard. That's pretty. You did a good job. Look at you go. Mm -hmm. One more project done. One more. Except you got to build another one, though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, now i got to build another one. For the Yay. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. If y'all like stuff like this, y'all please like and subscribe and keep watching. As the Daisy says in the background, keep watching Everyday Wonder Homestead, and you'll never know what we're going to do because sometimes we wonder, too. That's right. <laughs> so... And, and check out a lot of good content with uh, free pallet wood and scrap wood and stuff like that. Just kind of making up things as you go and coming up with good ideas, trying to make it as cheap as possible to homestead and raise your own food and just good stuff, I guess. How's that? So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you have any other ideas we can use for the pallet wood, leave us a comment below. Awesome. Sounds like a great plan. See ya. See you later. So check it out, y'all. That is one of the installed waters. This is the one for the pigs. And I will show you from the inside what it looks like. We don't have the water thing actually hooked up yet. But so if you were curious as to how we were going to install them and set them up, uh, this is basically how they're set on the fence. And you can see the other one down there. And you can see the other one down there. Now I'm going to take a trip inside of the goat pen and pig pen. And we're going to see what they look like on the inside. And we're going to see what they look like on the inside. Right here is the one for the goat pen. I do want to show you a couple of things. We had some rain yesterday. We had... Look at that. Is that an eight? Oh, that's eight centimeters. Ha! Huh, scared me though. We had about three and a half inches the other night. That's crazy. And right now... Well, 78 degrees, 78, 78, 80 degrees. Right now it's 78, 80 degrees. So it is actually wonderful out here right now. So this is the inside of the pen where the uh, goat water is. Of course, all the watering stuff will be set up right there. We will show you that as soon as we set it up, but it's kind of cool how it hangs there. Mama Cita did a great job building those things. Let me walk over here where the pig one is. And of course, you know, we built a separate pen for the pigs, which they are not in right now. Well, one of them is. That was Gretna. And we're trying to replace this water right here, which is kind of really more of their, let's get kind of cool bath thing when it gets too hot. Um, and those little turtle things work fantastic. So here is the uh, water for the pigs. Here is the waterer for the pigs. Now all we gotta do is 
is set it up and we'll show you that in another video but uh like i said mama cena did a fantastic job setting these things up we're excited about using them